ask Gibson. I ask the question that matter. Today we have lovely Linda Lee. First question, what helps you slow down? Well, Michael, I'm not very good at slowing down, but just in the last few years, I've had very sore knees and they make me slow down. So um, I've had to think about when I get up on something, can I get down again? And it's made me slow down and made me think what I can do and what I can't do. It's also made me appreciate very much what I can do. Second question, how do you find waiting for the Lord? Well, I'm not great at waiting, not really, but I'm learning. And I have to learn that God knows a great deal more and he's a great deal wiser than I am. And that's a hard lesson to learn sometimes because I like to say, would you do this, God, or would you do that? And it's not always what he wants to happen. So I have to learn how to listen to God and how to wait for God. Third question, do you have any tips for waiting on God? Well, sometimes, Michael, when we pray, it's almost as though God has done it straight away. When you turn around, it's all fixed. And you think, wow, God must have known I was going to pray before I even did it. But other times, we have to wait. And it seems almost as though he isn't going to answer or he doesn't hear us. And we wonder why. We don't understand why it is that he don't, wouldn't answer this time. But then I remember that I only see one page at a time. God sees the whole picture much better than I do. He's much wiser. He's much more kind. He's much more loving than I am. So that helps me to accept God's way. His way is very often, well, is always better than mine. What great answers. Thank you. Thank you for talking us, to us, lovely Linda Lee. See you next time. Bye. Thank you, Michael. Beautiful.